Well, BYU fans had to spend about 20 bucks to watch this game. I think they got their money's worth, though. They were going up against one of the worst scoring defenses in the country in UMass. But they did what they were supposed to do. They scored early. They scored often. Yeah, they did. That BYU offense was clicking early and fast. Zach Wilson had an amazing game straight from the start. Yeah, really played the first half, and he's still coming off injury. So BYU fans want to see him shake off the rust. But 17 of 20 for 293, four touchdowns, all in one half. And listen, UMass is terrible. Ooh. Look at this pocket BYU provided him. He has all day, steps back. What I think BYU fans are most excited about is the fact he steps up in the pocket and delivers a dart to Talon Shomway. Talon Shomway is basically a max pro. They kept the running back in to block. Talon Shomway gets behind the defense, comes up with the reception. Talon Shomway, 92 yards on the day, 18 yards per catch, four catches. So great afternoon. It was nice to see, once again, Zach get in the rhythm, get things going, get to his big receivers. And like I said, BYU 49 points in the first half. They put up a lot of points. Uh, it was nice to see him clicking, like you said. Well, that was crazy. You get a three-man rush, and you still only have one defender back? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> there, there, were, there were lots of that in the first half. That's, that's only one example. Right, but BYU's had some trouble running with some running backs this year. And this year, they've been shuffling through a few. But here, McChesney comes through big on, he, on Saturday. Yeah, BYU struggled with the injury bug, right? You saw Sione Finau this past week go down with an ACL injury. He's out for the season. So it's next man up. And next man is Jackson McChesney. He goes for over 228 yards in this game. And it was fun to see him step in because this is a guy who's fresh off his mission, still has some mission legs. <laughs> but what I like about him is he goes downhill and then, of course, takes a blow, stays nice. on the feet, and gets into the end zone. This is a guy who in high school was a 100-meter champ, state champ here in Utah, and he shows off his speed there. But look at this hole. BYU guy's blocking downfield. He's a north and south runner, sheds a block, then takes a hit, stays on his feet, gets in the end zone. It was the McChesney afternoon. He, he really carried this load with Zach Wilson in the air, McChesney on the ground. This BYU offense was absolutely rolling, as they should, because like you said, Sam, UMass defense was absolutely terrible. Right, right. And, and, and it was a complete game for BYU. So now on the defensive side, things that we like is, is very good technique on the defensive side. Here, they have great lanes, and Dumbo Gualaku really leads the charge here. Yeah, Dine did a great job. This is a play where you're going to have three defenders. He comes up and makes a play. But defense, they basically pitched a shutout in this game. I mean, you look at the first half, the starters, when they were in, they went into halftime 49 nothing. But Dine's going to be playing corner. We like about this play, CBYU is just showing a straight line across. They've got five defenders across. Dine recognizes the quick screen outside, but what I'm point out is the three lanes of leverage. You've got Dine on the outside, you've got the alley runner in the middle, and you've got the inside out player with the backer. Dine takes a step inside, comes outside, sheds the receiver, puts his hat on the ball. Great technique. We're taught that since little kids and Pop Warner. When you go to make the tackle, put the hat on the ball, pops it loose. You must end up jumping on and retained it. But Dine just shows the senior veteran guy coming every day, uh, every game, brings his lunch pail, goes to work. And it's fun to see him pay off with hits like that. And uh, fun to see his career. He's been absolutely huge playmaker, captain of his defense, been a really vocal leader. And, you know, big plays like that shows why. Well, great job by BYU of, of ending this season strong. Yeah. Take, taking care of business. It's, I mean, it was one of those games where you just yeah. kind of had to get in get out. But BYU now heads to San Diego State to finish regular season. Yeah. Potential six-game win streak on the line if they can pull this one off. So see, what, see, yeah. see how they do in San Diego. At one point, two and four on the season. A chance to finish that regular season eight and four, like you said, David. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.